Hey everybody, it's Angela the Inquisitive Farm Wife and I am so excited to be in the kitchen today sharing some fantastic recipes with you. I am participating in a collaboration hosted by Valerie Hargett and Manage in the Maze. It's a one day collaboration where several YouTube creators get together and are bringing you lots of holiday ideas. I've chosen a few recipes to share with you that are vintage and loved through the years. I'm going to have a little twist using some of the modern technologies we have available to us today. I just love eggnog, don't you? Well, let's go ahead and make some today. On here, I have the AER disc blender. And to this, I've added equivalent of six large chicken eggs. Now, many recipes that you see will have you beat your whites and your yolks separately. But with this disc, it will emulsify and it will do all sorts of um, whipping and foaming and it'll muddle, it'll do all the drink stuff. So I don't need to separate them, I can leave them together. I'm gonna turn this on for 30 seconds on number six. Okay, this is great. Let's take a sneak peek here. Our eggs are nice and foamy and ready to go. Next thing I'll do is add in our sugar. You can adjust this according to your taste, but I think that six eggs could handle about three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm gonna put the lid on this, and I'm going to go ahead and blend this again at number six for about 20 seconds. This kind of just gets your sugar to incorporate a little bit better if we go ahead and mix it for a bit before adding the rest of the ingredients. So to this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna add uh, three cups of full cream Jersey milk. So there's, there's this is a half cup, so there's one and a half, two, and a half and there we have it three cups of milk now if you want you can use half and half or you can use a mixture of whole milk and heavy whipping cream whatever you like I like a little vanilla in my eggnog this is not something you always see but I'm gonna give it a good glug of vanilla and then I have seen lots of recipes that use ginger, cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. And then I've also seen some that use just nutmeg. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of each one in here to give it a nice depth of flavor. You don't wanna use very much on your cloves Cloves are a very strong flavor that not everyone likes. So just one little sprinkle is all I'm gonna give of that. Everyone likes cinnamon. I would say a total of maybe two teaspoons of spice total. Just a little bit of ginger. Because when I'm ready to serve this, I have whole nutmegs that I'm going to put on top. All right, and the last step, of course, is optional, but we're gonna add a half a cup each of bourbon and rum. This will actually keep your eggnog fresher longer because it's alcohol. It's a preservative. So you can keep this in the fridge. It's actually better to wait and serve this the next day, but we'll do a taste test later tonight. You can use whatever kind of alcohol you want or leave it completely out. 
But remember, when you're working with raw eggs, you, by using the alcohol, that kind of um, kills off any worries that you might possibly have. You can always put this on the stove and you can temper it, or you can buy eggs from the store that um, are already pasteurized. We're gonna do this for, oh, 15 seconds maybe. Okay, let's take a little peek. Oh, ooh, it's a little boozy. Okay, because there is a nice seal on here, I mean, it's made for liquids. We're gonna go ahead and put this entire thing in the refrigerator and I'm gonna let this set before we do a taste test. For our next treat, we're going to make rice pudding in the Instant Pot. So I love my kitchen gadgets and I love my old fashioned recipes. So today is the perfect day to combine the two. We've got our Instant Pot insert and to that, I'm going to add one cup of rinsed rice. You want to rinse your rice to get some of those starches off. Then I'm gonna throw in a cinnamon stick. And we're gonna want one to one and a half cups of water. You wanna use a short grain rice. Okay, I'm gonna say this wrong. Arbiera rice is probably the best for this recipe but today I'm using sushi rice because it's a short grain. It's going to be a little bit creamier by using a short grain, but don't let this stop you. If all you have is a long grain rice, you can still make it. It's just gonna be a little bit more on the chewy side. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this. Okay, now it is time to go ahead and vent. That didn't take long at all. I actually let it go a minute or two more. That's okay. Oh, that cinnamon smells lovely. And this rice is just perfectly done. So while this is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add my half a cup of sugar. And I had forgotten, almost forgot again, I should have had the salt in there when this was cooking. About a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, now that our sugar's kind of melted, we'll go ahead and add a, about a cup and a half of our two cups of milk. Okay. My um, Instapot is off. And we're just gonna kinda put this aside for a second. And in here I have three small, so you need two large eggs. And I just wanna make sure I get that whipped up really good. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a half, the rest of the milk, which is a half a cup. I'm gonna add in this egg. And now I'll turn on my saute feature and we're just going to constantly stir this until it starts boiling. Okay, it is starting to bubble. I don't know if you can hear or see that. But I would consider this a simmer. And I do not want to scorch or burn this, so I'm going to shut this off. And unplug it. And then I'm going to grab a cooling rack to put that on. And I'm going to take this insert out. And you can see it has really started to thicken. And at this point, I like to add about Oh, there's about a tablespoon of butter in here. We're gonna let that melt, and that is just going to make this so creamy and so decadent, just a little extra something. I like putting butter in my homemade puddings. 
know what else I like putting in? A splash of vanilla. Okay, so I was supposed to put about a teaspoon, and that easily is a tablespoon, but who doesn't love real vanilla? I'm just going to keep stirring this until that butter is melted. And then I'm going to dig out that cinnamon stick because we don't need this anymore. And lastly, this is optional, but I'm going to put about three quarters of a cup. Now, these are my homemade raisins. I dehydrated those and I want to put, I like raisins in my rice pudding and I actually think I want to add I'm going to go ahead and make that a full cup now these raisins will plump up and they'll soak up some of this pudding we're just going to let that sit for just a little bit I like to go ahead and put these in individual cups so that if they don't all get it doesn't all get eaten now we have ready to go servings for later I like to put just a little bit of fresh nutmeg on the top. Not only does it look nice, but it just really tastes good too. I'm going to put these aside to cool and I have lids for them and I'll put them in the refrigerator. Rice pudding is excellent cold, but it's even better warm. And a little pudding and of course some raisin we're gonna give this a try <laughs> nothing like homemade folks I hope that you give this a try all right friends it's been a few hours and look we have our eggnog <gasps> check out that cream line unfortunately I had forgotten to add salt and you always want to add just a pinch of salt to bring out all the other flavors. So we're going to give this a quick whir. Beautiful froth. We're going to go ahead and pour some out here. And I want to dip a little of this on top. The next thing we do is some fresh nutmeg. Cheers. Let's give this a taste test. Woo! It's definitely boozy. But I think that my husband's really gonna like it. And I think you will too. And if you don't want yours with alcohol, just leave it out. You don't like that amount? Change it. Use whatever flavors you like to make it the way you want. Just going to put the rest of this into a half gallon mason jar. Make sure you label it. You don't want that for breakfast on your cereal. And this can last several days in the refrigerator. It sure was a lot of fun being in the kitchen with you guys today. Thanks for coming along. And thanks again to our host, Valerie Hargett and Managing the Maze. Make sure you go to their channels to find the full playlist of all the videos that are coming out today. Bye for now, friends. See you next time.